Lynn Miller with Eagle Med Scientist Laboratories, and today we're playing with a Larson scanner. Larson scanner is a, a kit that you build, and it makes um, a red light that it scans back and forth. These nice big fat LEDs are great for decorative stuff, but um, we're going to work with uh, a wearables project today. So. Uh, what we want to use are the smaller 5 millimeter LEDs. These ones um, have a bigger lens and uh, they're nice and bright. Um, but we, we don't want this um, back and forth that we have on the Larson scanner. We've reprogrammed it with a, a new pattern that you can enable by uh, putting a jumper uh, in one of the optional locations here. and. Uh, instead of going back and forth, it now has this nice um, drop down, uh, sort of digital drop. This is like what was seen on a craft uh, work ties in their performances. So that's what we're going for, is we're gonna uh, modify a tie, put some LEDs in it. Um, so this has a, a nice two by AA battery in the box, just like the Larson scanner. Um, but that's awfully heavy for a tie. So what we're gonna do is modify it. We're gonna cut the wires here and put instead of the play batteries, a coin cell, which we can just clip directly to the wires with a binder clip. Um, the binder clip coating is actually um, a non-conductive enamel, so it's great. Um, for holding a, a coin cell with. So that makes it nice and light and ready to put into a tie, which we have uh, modified. We have cut open the back and uh, cut some holes along the front center for the LEDs. So that's the next step where we're gonna um, put the LEDs in. Okay, um, so we've opened up the back of this tie and um, cut some slits in here for the LED. So I'm gonna take the um, modified Larson scanner and put the LEDs in through the holes. We have uh, installed the LEDs up from the board by um, cut a bit so that they can uh, go through the material like an old fashioned stud. So I'm take my first hole and my top LED there. And work my way down. Just a couple more there. The back corner material slides around a little bit. Okay, so push this nice and flush through and then We'll just check and make sure that uh, everything lined up neatly back there. Tuck those wires down. All right. Just like straight through it, and there we are. Okay, so the next step will be to clip the battery on uh, to the wires underneath. So we'll just draw those back through. And tuck it back down in there. Okay, last step is uh, to pin it, to hold it shut, uh, hold it together when it's being worn. So, um, 
just need to use a couple of safety pins uh, on the back side, um, particularly right above the board. So I'm just going to go along with the with the seam, just not going quite all the way through to the front. Good. And then in the middle here where the extra bulk one makes it want to open up. And here I'm going to be careful not to go all the way through where my safety pin might short out the circuit. So I just want to go through the first couple of cloth layers, not all the way through to the, um, to the board. Okay, looks like that's holding together. It's uh, ready to go on.